Russia's first moon mission in 47 years failed after its Luna 25 spacecraft spun out of control and smashed into the moon. Let's take a look at how this unsuccessful mission could affect Russia's space program going forward. Luna 25's launch into space had raised hope in Moscow that Russia was returning to the big power moon race. But the crash underscores the decline of Russia's space power since the glory days of Cold War competition. Moscow's Sputnik 1 was the world's first to launch a satellite to orbit the Earth back in 1957. And Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first man to travel into space in 1961. Despite those successes, Russia had not attempted a moon mission since Luna 24 in 1976. Space expert Ilya Ovchinikov says this failed mission is unlikely to be perceived as a huge setback. So actually setting back the Russian lunar program, this is probably unlikely to happen. Unless, of course, they start waving a sabre and reprimand all those who worked on this mission, breaking their future in the engineering field. I think that they need to be supported now, these specialists, because they have gained tremendous experience and will continue to work already with this experience behind them. That said, some Russian scientists, though, have complained that the space program has been weakened by poor managers who are keen for unrealistic vanity space projects, corruption, and a decline in the rigor of Russia's post-Soviet scientific education system. The Luna 25 mission also underscores the pressure on Russia's $2 trillion economy. It has so far withstood what the West casts as the most stringent sanctions ever imposed. The West says the sanctions have weakened Russia's economy, particularly the high technology parts which often rely on imports. President Vladimir Putin says Russia's economy is showing remarkable strength. But space expert Vitaly Egorov, who is the author of Selenikot Telegram, says questions arise now if Russia will be able to continue its space program. The question is, will the Kremlin and the Ministry of Finance be ready to fund projects like this? Because the development will take a long time. It will take years and billions of rubles. While the outcome is questionable. Will they be ready to spend time and money for another embarrassment? Many world powers are trying to reach the moon to search for water ice on the lunar South Pole. But all eyes are on India now which Russia has been racing against. The Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is scheduled to land there this week, just days after the Russian lander's failure. China and the United States are two other countries that have advanced lunar ambitions.